So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I know it is very, very, very dramatic. It's not necessarily like bold and unique and different, but it is dramatic in the sense where I have a lot of darkness going on on both the eyes and the lips. If you feel like this is way too much for you, just switch out the lip for a nude lip and it'll be much more wearable and you'll probably like it a lot more that way. I always do nude lips, so I really wanted to go for a dark vampy lip and I figured a little star would be... <gasps> I didn't highlight my inner corners. Wait, how can this be a holiday look without bright gold inner corners? I have to refill my intro. And I need to highlight my brow bone just a little bit. Forgot to do that as well. So yeah, a nude lip would go perfect for this look. And actually, if I were gonna wear this out to like a holiday party or something like that, I probably would go with a nude lip. But I just love how vintage and bold this looks. I'm also using a bunch of makeup that I haven't used in a really long time. I have become such a creature of habit that I've been using the exact same products in like all my videos. I feel like you guys are tired of seeing my Thrive Cosmetics bronzer. You guys are tired of seeing Toasted Cinnamon Blush. So I decided to use a bunch of stuff that I haven't used in a while, but there's still stuff I really, really love. And happy holidays! Happy Christmas Eve if you celebrate it. I'm uploading this video on the 24th, so I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. I hope you spend it with your friends and your family, and I hope you're all healthy and happy, and that's the most important thing. Happiness and health come before anything. But yes, happy holidays, guys. I completely forgot. I'm uploading this on the 24th. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have a fun time tonight and tomorrow. But yes, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so for the eyes, obviously, you already know, I'm gonna prime with my P. Louise Makeup Base. Since I'm using products I haven't really used in a long time, I pulled out my giant colored rain palette. Like, it, it doesn't even fit in the screen here. And I've shown you guys this before in the past, but when you open it, it fits like a thousand eyeshadows. I just haven't even filled it up. I, I honestly don't know what I wanna do with this one. I don't know what color scheme I wanna go with. But apparently this is what I've got so far. But I'm gonna use some of these mattes in my crease because I haven't used single shadows in a really long time. And all the eyeshadows I am wearing in today's look are single shadows. I'm gonna take the Anastasia eyeshadow in Burnt Orange. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade, buffing this color into the crease. I usually drag my crease color out a bit and I start creating kind of like a like the illusion of a cat eye but for this look since I'm doing more of a halo eye I want it to be a little bit more rounded so I'm not really dragging the eyeshadow too far out on the outer corners. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow from Morphe. It's called Skin Deep. It's very similar to the color we just put down only it's a little bit less orange. So I'm just gonna put this directly in my crease. I just wanna add a little bit of dimension right in the crease. Okay, so now for the stars of the show. I recently placed an order on JD Glow Cosmetics. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that brand. I follow them on Instagram and I never really purchased anything from them, but they post the most satisfying makeup swatches on their Instagram. It's like everything they create is ultra beaming, ultra glowy. They're like an indie brand. So I picked up a few of their eyeshadows, which are the big round ones here. These are the Makeup Geek pressed pigments. So I went on their website and I picked up a few of their eyeshadows. And when I got these two eyeshadows in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use these two in a makeup tutorial. Can you just look at, watch this. And remember in a recent video, I told you guys that I had found a dupe for the red in the Pat McGrath $1 trillion Mothership Bronze eyeshadow palette? I was talking about this red eyeshadow from JD Glow Cosmetics. I want to do a whole dupe video, but I have to gather more dupes. But I just want to show you guys anyway. So they're not exact dupes, but let me show you swatches. Oh my gosh, even the JD Glow one is way more foiled and metallic. It's insane. This is the Pat McGrath one, which when I originally swatched this, I was like, can, can anything get better than this? This is the JD Glow one. This shade is called Ruby. <laughs> Gorgeous. 
So I'm gonna take the Ruby eyeshadow and with my finger, I'm not gonna wet it or anything. It doesn't need to be wet. I'm just gonna pop that. These are similar to the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. Although I think even more foiled, it's pretty insane. So I'm just gonna put this on my entire lid, but I'm gonna avoid the inner and outer corners. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this color. This is Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. And on a very, very small little brush, this is the JH40 from Morphe. I'm going to blend that into my crease just a little bit. So we're gonna do this again in a second, but I just kinda wanna add a guideline. Now I'm gonna take this JD Glow eyeshadow. This one's called Emerald. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, only I'm focusing this on the outer corners and on the inner corners. It's gonna be like a green, red halo eye. I'm gonna go back into Coco Bear and do the same thing. This green isn't as foiled as the red one, especially when you layer it on top of the red one, it kind of loses its greenness. So I am gonna go back and forth with those two shades a couple times to really get my desired effect. And I am gonna add some Fix Plus to the green just to make it a little bit more intense. Okay, so I'm gonna take this ColourPop concealer brush thing, doesn't have a name, and I'm gonna Fix Plus it up. And I'm gonna apply this emerald shade again, just a little more intensely. Yeah, this color applies much better with Fix Plus. It's not as foiled as that red one, but it's still really, really nice. I'm gonna go back into Coco Bear. Then I'm gonna dip my finger back into Ruby and kind of blend and mesh those two shades together. Now I'm gonna take that first shade we use in the crease, Burnt Orange. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with no eyeshadow on it and just blend out those harsh lines in the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the eyes and kind of fix it up because there's still some work I need to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face first. Okay, so the rest of this video unfortunately has to be a voiceover because there was a lot of construction noise going on. So here we go. I'm using my No Problem Primer. I always have issues saying that. I'm gonna use that to prime my skin. I used to love this primer, it's amazing. I just don't really use it that much anymore and I don't know why. Um, and now I'm gonna use my NARS, what is this? It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade Vienna. This gives you such a flawless finish. It is a really, really nice foundation. For concealer, I went in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I used to use this all the time when I first started my channel. And then I kind of stopped using it because the packaging is a little bit annoying, but it is a really great concealer. It's full coverage, it's very glamorous, and it just it's so affordable, so it's really, really great. I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I always use this powder whenever I do like glam looks or I really want my face to look extra smooth and perfected. Going back into the eyes, I'm gonna use that Morphe eyeshadow I used earlier, and I'm gonna buff that on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Coco Bear, and I'm gonna blend this directly on top of that Skin Deep eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna take the Emerald eyeshadow, and on a tiny little brush, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this really, really close to my waterline, but only on the outer corners, and I'm gonna drag it in a little bit, but not too much. Now I'm gonna take this amazing Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This one is called Gemstone. It's one of their Highliner Glam Glitter eyeliners. Oh my God, these are so good. They have such 
amazing sparkle to them and I really love this one, it's a really pretty green. I'm gonna take a little bit of Makeup Geek's Cabin Fever eyeshadow just to add a little bit of depth right in my crease. It's barely noticeable, but it's gonna give it a little bit of something. And then after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. This is the Shumura Eyelash Curler. It's one of my favorites. I also really love the Tweezerman one. And then I went in with the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. This mascara is actually really good. I just haven't used it in forever. I used to not like it, but I don't know. I think it made my lashes look pretty good. And I was gonna apply some falsies because obviously I feel like with this look, falsies would be ideal. I feel like falsies would look better, honestly. But I just decided to let my natural lashes do its thing. You guys know me. It's very much more me, so I just went with my natural lash look. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face. I just contoured using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium to really, you know, contour the cheekbones. And the forehead, of course. We can't forget to contour the forehead. And then just to add a little bit more bronziness to the skin, I went in with the Jouer bronzer I haven't used in forever. It's called Suntan, and I used to love this bronzer so much. It gives you like a really pretty warmth. I really like it a lot, I love the undertone. And then I used to use this Tarte Risqué blush all the time. I love it and it lasts forever on the cheeks. So I decided to pull it out and use it in today's look. And then for highlight, I took the Milani Rose Glow highlight and I used the shade Golden Quartz on my cheekbones. Well, this is the Rose Glow palette and I used the gold shade on my cheekbones. I love this Milani palette. It's like really, really, really intense and so affordable. And then I just set my face with my Morphe setting spray as usual. And then of course, to finish off this look, I went in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Little Star. But please feel free to use a nude if this is way too bold for you. But yeah, live your life and do your thing. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I feel very 1920s, especially with this like dark lip. I wanted to do something that was really, really bold and that screamed Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see from me next. Always leave me your requests. But yeah, that completes this video, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, whoop, that I bought from.